so in today's video i will show you how to do multiple container orchestration uh, with docker and docker compose so first of all i have a client app i have a server app as well as i have a worker app so in client app this is a normal react uh, react js like create react app and uh, secondly uh, like i am following this tutorial from uh, steven grider's uh, udemy course so this is not something original like even i have uh, followed a tutorial and whatever i have learned i am sharing with you guys so this is a, a normal react uh, js create react app application and inside that uh, here you can see that so i will actually show you the application so this is the application what it tells us that uh, and so it is finding a fibonacci sequence and so if you know fibonacci sequence like you have two numbers at the start zero and one then you add those two numbers 0 plus 1 equal to 1 then you add 1 and 1 so 1 plus 1 equal to 2 then you add 1 plus uh, 2 equal to 3 and so on and so forth so here you have to specify first index so i will specify suppose 10th index so in the fibonacci range and if i uh, refresh it so for 10th index uh, the value is 89 suppose if i enter level index and for level index so i will again refresh it so for level index the value is 144 so the index uh, i think are stored uh, in the redis and where is the value calculated for the fibonacci are stored in on postgres or vice versa something like that has been done but we are using both postgres as well as redis server so here is a client application and inside that i won't go much into the code uh, and here uh, you can see we are calling this um, our apis but one thing to notice is that uh, we while calling an api we are appending slash api but while creating the api we are not uh, appending slash api we are just writing values slash current so i will show you that as well but just remember this thing uh, for uh, while calling on the client side we are appending slash api whereas on the server side we are not giving slash api at the start and this is how we are just calling this uh, api uh, next uh, so we have created a docker file for this so this is the dev docker file and uh, you don't need to run this command uh, like build command we will, the docker compose will automatically handle it for all the docker files so first i have created a node and same thing as usual creating a worker and directory copy the package.json run npm install then copy all other files and this is the command for uh, doing npm run start if you are you doing it for production with just docker file then this only this command will change okay and in package.json you can see jack i have just added this react router dom as well as axios so that is for the client side next for the server side uh, so uh, here you can see like we have just uh, created first we are using express.js and here we are creating postgres client and for so here uh, as i mentioned earlier we are not using slash api we are directly using slash value slash okay so this is the thing to notice and we will tell docker uh, how to use slash api ahead whenever a client makes a request so this is what the server side code looks like and here we are pushing all the values to redis client as well okay and for redis client this is the worker fo folder which we have created so here you can see I have created this worker um, <laughs> I mean I have copy pasted it so here these are the environment variables so for Postgres as well we have created this and inside package.json you can just see I am using express pg redis course node mon and body parser and same here as well I am using node mon and redis so the docker file for server looks exactly like of the client only this command will change and similarly over here as well uh, same as uh, that of the server uh, f this is for the redis worker next uh, we have so we will be using nginx so uh, for nginx i have created separate folder and we will be overriding the default.conf which is already present inside an nginx server so for that you have to make sure first the client will be uh, listening on port 3000 the server which is our api will be listening on port 5000 and uh, nginx will listen on port 80 but uh, we will configure this port inside our docker compose.yml to listen on different port uh, so this is you have to write uh, whenever you want to pass our client so this is the same as this and this you have to write because we want to pass the api and here we are actually configuring that um, 
whatever API has been appended uh, at the forward of client, we need, we need to break it before passing it to the server. Otherwise, if you are uh, writing manually slash API on the server side, you don't have to write this this rewrite slash API, but you will have to write this logic that proxy pass you have to write. And this is uh, like uh, this is boilerplate code. So if you don't write this code, you will see a WebSocket connection error when you try to run your React app. So to overcome that, I have uh, we have written this. Now we have to create a Docker file for Nginx as well, and it is pretty simple. So from Nginx, and this all it does is that it overrides the default file of default.config which is present inside engine uh, nginx conf uh, with our own file next uh, i have created a docker compose.yml file as well so for docker compose.yml uh, so for docker compose.yml uh, first we have created created a version and here first we have creating services as well so in previous tutorial you might remember that we were trying to start redis manually via some different command we don't need to do that we can just write this postgres take the latest image of postgres for same for redis as well and this is for nginx uh, where the nginx docker file is located and here we will be running our app on port 8080 uh, and we are configuring the 80 port of nginx uh, then this is for the api which is the server uh, same we are passing the docker file location the volumes as well as uh, whatever uh, api environment keys it require same for client as well we have uh, specifying the build location uh, volumes uh, then the workers uh, okay so workers i think this is specific uh, so this is for client create react app so worker is for redis right so we are specifying the environment uh, the build location as well as the volumes and then all you have to do uh, is start a docker compose uh, up dash dash build so i will show you the command so you have to just run this command and uh, this will take a little while and for the first time when you run this command it will i think it will fail because of some configuration issues so you and it will take some time to do all this npm install as well as pull postgres and redis so be little patient and once you do that uh, you for on the first time it might fail you m might have to try this command again running this docker compose up dash dash build and then it might pass so yeah uh, that's it uh, thank you for watching and this is the application as you can see running on port uh, port 8080